Lord of the Inferno, hearken to our plea. Lord of the Inferno, deliver us from our misery. I hope that's the last rhyme. O oh, mighty Ifrit, Lord of the Inferno, your humble servants beseech you, grace us with your divine presence. That's actually pretty impressive. O oh, mighty Ifrit, we bring before you ignorant savages who know not your godhead. If it please you, Lord, scorch their heathen souls with your cleansing flame and mark them as your own. Bloody hells. <clears throat> bring those two as well. Ung. What's going on? This ain't what we agreed. None but servants of Lord Ifrit may behold the right of summoning. The souls of unbelievers are forfeit. No, spare me, I beg you. That's Ungus. Pitiful children of man, by my breath I claim you. Arise once more as my loyal minions. Feed my flames with your faith, and all who stand against us shall burn. Almighty Ifrit, my one true god. Ah, uh, they're being converted. Your words are my bread. Didn't work on us. Impossible. By what sorcery do you resist my master's will? It's the echo, bro. Could it be? Your soul already belongs to another. Yes, that is the only explanation. Forsooth, thy frail mortal frame can serve as vessel to the blessing of but one, yet I smell not the taint of another upon thee. <clears throat> the truth of thine allegiance waxeth clear, thou art of the godless blessed numbers. The paragons warned of thine abhorrent kind, thine existence is not to be suffered. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> okay, so they all had to wait, and that's kind of shitty. I feel bad about that, but I'm showing you guys the story. So, this is the first trial of Final Fantasy XIV. It's basically like a big boss fight, and that's pretty much it. So, essentially, the tank is going to have Ifrit face the uh, edge of the map here, so when he does his uh, fire cones and stuff like that, it's only going to hit him, which is a good idea. And this is a very easy fight, honestly. We're just really going to be doing as much damage as we can. And uh, maybe try to pop our crits here. Try to maximize on damage. Keep our damage buff going. Keep fracture going. And just keep doing damage. Now, eventually there's going to be some other stuff we have to do. He's got to dodge that. Yeah, I don't think he did. Oh, he did get out of the way. We're going to get blasted back from time to time not really a big deal. Um, at about the halfway mark, there's going to be a nail that we have to focus all of our damage on. Okay, so let's get out of this AoE. There we go. Not too hard. Keep our damage buff up. And we're just going to keep going. We don't need to use any of our other abilities because we're not actually tanking any damage at all. Tank is doing a great job holding the threat. Healer's doing a good job. Okay, here's the nail. So we're going to switch to the nail and just kill it as fast as possible. And I'm going to be a thousand percent honest with you right now. Um, I have no idea what happens when you don't focus the nail. And it looks like we're actually about to find out here. Because all I know is that you have to focus the nail. And if you don't, then it's certain doom for everybody. But I've never actually seen it happen. And you know what? It's looking like right now it might happen. Okay, we don't want to get in this cone. We need to... <clears throat> like, we really actually do need to be focusing this down. Okay, I think we're all going to die here. This is my guess. Uh, I'm trying to stay with the AoE. Oh, we all died. <clears throat> now 
now everyone's saying we gotta focus the nail, but I'm pretty sure I was the only one that was hitting the nail. So that's cool. We got to wipe on Ifrit, which <clears throat> is not supposed to happen, but let's get back into it here. What is happening? Is this the tank? Is he not tanking? <clears throat> the black mage is tanking. <coughs> Sorry about the coffin, guys. I yeah, I'm. Th this is all thrown out of whack here. The black mage is literally tanking right now. Well. Okay, there we go. Uh, the tank can't hold threat. It's trying, but not able to. Uh, don't disappear, dude. Come on. I waited 23 minutes for this queue. Are you attacking before I even reach the guy? Mm. I don't think this is a black mage problem here, Gucci. Okay, where's the nail? Nail. The black mage is still tanking, what the fuck? What's happening? Are we gonna... We killed it. So we should... We shouldn't die here. I think we just take a little bit of damage. Where is the AoE? Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well, we took some damage. Well, you know what? If anything, I'm happy that we were able to learn what happens and why you are supposed to focus the nail down because that's the first time that that's ever happened. Like I said, all I knew was that you have to kill the nail really fast and I was like, okay, I'll just do that. But I never actually saw what happens when you don't. Uh, get out of here. I think I made it. Not we got hit. Alright. Get the heal going though. Is the black mage is still tanking. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even mad. This is amazing. Okay, get out of here. This is actually the best black mage tank I've ever seen in my life. Alright, well, when we're at range, we'll throw our little spear in. Stay out of here. Well, you know what? At least it's allowing this uh, tank, who's probably a beginner, to get through this content here. Even though he's uh, not tanking the greatest here. Oh, where's the uh, limit break? Boom! Get braver. Okay, well, let's get into the cutscene then. The tank was doing a great job in the first run. I don't even understand. Whatever. Right? Like, I think I remember that, right? He was doing pretty good. I even said he was doing a great job. But I don't know what happened during the second run. He just, like, stopped playing. And then was complaining that he couldn't get threat. 
Bankred says, pray forgive my lateness. Also, we picked up a crystal there, and I think we kind of absorbed it. I was delayed by a congregation of Amalja zealots. I swear, each seemed more evangelical than the last. Hmm, persistent lot. This is just a game showing us that uh, Thancred is supposed to be considered formidable in battle. Phew. I see the Bloodsworn wasted no time extracting the captives. No less than I'd expect from the Flame, Ge Flame General's handpicked men. As for those two, it's fair to say their hardships have only just begun. They have much to answer for. I feel I owe you an apology, wee guy. Had I known this mission would prove so dangerous, I would never have left you to face it alone. You have been given a veritable baptism of fire. But let us continue this conversation in more agreeable, agreeable surrounds. Camp Drybone, shall we say. This way, sir. So yeah, so that was the first trial, which is basically like a, a pretty hardcore boss. Oh, there's more. So that was the mighty Ifrit. Uh, it's the guy from the uh, Imperial... Imperial whatever. Hey. And what a disappointment he was. The readings are nowhere near what I had anticipated, even taking Uldan interference into account. You should know better than to rely upon five-year-old data left by the Seventh Legion. Nor can we expect any form of support from the Motherland. Given the troubles at court, we have only ourselves to rely upon. Ever the pessimist, my dear Livia, promise me you'll never change. Uh, I'm just noticing this wee guy crown is fighting an Ifrit. I can't say LOL, please. We've wasted enough time here. That meter of yours is too old to give any reading worth a damn. Because I said nail. <laughs> now that there was aught worth a damn for it to read, but I take your point. I suppose we must content ourselves with the knowledge that we've achieved our primary objective. Yet I find that I'm troubled by that adventurer's unexpected show of strength. Could such a foe prove a hindrance to our plans? Perhaps, but this is a consideration for another time. You've been given a task. That is your priority. I suggest you treat it as such. Fail to do it... Fail to do as my lord commands. And I will spare him the trouble of punishing you. Dritz do Herden. I'm also a very large Dritz fan. With allies like that, <clears throat> beware a woman in love. I shall need to be on my best behavior. So these guys were trying to like read the power of Ifrit. And I guess we've put ourselves on the map for them now. Okay. Okay. So actually, that's going to be um, this episode done. I'm going to keep this one pretty short. I just wanted to get the trial taken care of and show you guys what that's all about. I feel like it's better to sort of focus that in one video instead of now continue on with the story. Um, so yeah, what we're going to do here, as long as the game doesn't throw me into any sort of commitment right now. Um, okay, perfect. We'll talk to Thancred at the beginning of the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.